Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday, April 8th, Lessons for the Day. We begin with language arts as usual. Here's your vocabulary choice board for your language arts activity for the day. Choose one and complete it in your journal or sheet of paper. Take your time. No need to rush through it. Then focus your attention to today's writing prompt. Imagine you're a pirate going on a voyage to find hidden treasure. Write a story about your voyage. Of course, remember to be creative and use your imagination. Happy writing. Off to today's reading activity. Yesterday, you read The Skunk Ladder. Take a look at these questions. Number one, on page 176, the author writes about Mr. Muldoon having a mysterious nervous condition. What is humorous in that description of Mr. Muldoon? Number two, what adventures have the characters had? Why does the author list these adventures? Number three, explain the friendship between the characters and how Eddie's character differs from that of the narrator. Use evidence from the text to support your answer. Number four, reread pages 180 to 181. What happens that will give rise to future events? Number five, the author and Eddie decide to fill in the hole. Why do they do that? Number six, what is an example of how the author wants to entertain the reader? Reread the skunk ladder or listen to the read aloud, then answer the questions in your journal or a piece of paper. So you're going to go to the next slides, reread the story, or you can use the clickable YouTube link to listen to the story being read to you. The Skunk Ladder by Patrick F. McManus, illustrated by Richard Johnson. Genre, humorous fiction, question of the week, how can we find adventure in ordinary events? The link to click to, read this, to hear the story read aloud is on the top right, or you can go on and read to yourself. My crazy friend Eddie Muldoon and I were sitting on the Muldoon coral fence one summer afternoon, trying to think of something to do. This was shortly after I had nearly drowned in the creek while testing Eddie's deep sea diving apparatus and after we had crashed in our homemade plane during takeoff from the roof of the Muldoon Marne and after our submarine had failed to surface with us in the pond, but before Mr. Muldoon started tr being treated by old Doc Mosby, for a mysterious nervous condition. I recall mentioning to Eddie that his father seemed to be awfully jumpy that summer, and Eddie said he had noticed it too and wondered if it might not be caused by eating vegetables. Even as we sat on the fence, Mr. Muldoon came by on his tractor and stopped to study us suspiciously. What are you two up to now? He demanded. Nothing, Paul, Crazy Eddie said. Just trying to think of something to do. Mr. Muldoon shuddered. Well, when you think of it, you let me know before you start to do it, you hear? Sure, Pa, Eddie said. I guess what we'll do is go dig in the dirt. We've been talking about doing that. Okay, said Mr. Muldoon, shifting his tractor into gear. Just don't build nothing. Then he drove off. What kind of hole are we going to dig? I asked Eddie. He stared off into space, his face enveloped in that dreamy expression that accompanied one of his wondrous new ideas. A big hole, he said. A real big hole. Continue reading the story to yourself.
And now, last but not least, social studies. You are continuing to work on week 18, plans for the new government. You're going to log into your studiesweekly.com. You will read red, white, blue, and yellow, replacing the Articles of Confederation, and self-starter, Madam C.J. Walker. Then you will answer the comprehension questions at the end of each article. Remember, complete your iReady minutes and lessons.